material is for the blended algebra two unit four course, um, note part three of quadratic model. So here we're putting the calculator and factoring and all the algebraic stuff together into one problem. So this question is talking about a jumping frog, which yes, is a actual real thing. So the situation says, from the time Mark Twain wrote the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras in 1865, frog jumping competition grew in popularity. So this model, this quadratic equation here, um, models the height of a frog jump. X is how far the frog is away, and Y is the height. Now the question is, how far did the frog jump? All right, that's just the first question. So what we're going to do is we're going to type that equation into Desmos here. All right, so on Desmos, we are going to type it negative 0.029 x squared plus 0.59x. And we can adjust our window. We can't see all the way out, but so let's see. I'm going to make just the x's get a little bit bigger. Maybe I'm going to try 30. It looks like when I make it 30, yep, I can see the end of my jump. So it looks like my frog jumped 20.345 feet. Remember, we need to include units. All right, so now, the question, the next part of the question says, if I was finding that value, how far the frog jumped algebraically, I would have to, well, the question is, when I'm finding an x-intercept algebraically, you have to factor. So we are going to factor this problem together. Now, it's not a pretty factoring problem, but um, it, it's just a reminder here, okay? I won't make you factor these decimals very often. When I look at this original equation, I'll rewrite it here. It looks like there's only two terms, so I'm going to try to factor out a greatest common factor. And the decimals are kind of ugly, so I'm just going to factor out an x. They both have an x in common, so when I do that, and I'm actually going to pull out a negative x. How about we do that? Because there's a negative in front of the whole thing. So I'll pull out a negative x, and inside the parentheses, I'll be left with a positive 0.029x. Then the second term, a positive divided by a negative, gives me a negative 0.59. Now, to actually find the solutions here, I would set each of these factors equal to 0. So let's start with negative x, set it equal to 0. And to solve that, I just divide by negative 1. And that gives me one solution is that x equals zero. Well, that zero is actually where the frog started. So that does not tell me how far the frog jumped. But I look, I bet you the other one will. So I'm going to take the other factor, set it equal to zero, and solve it for nine. Or solve it for x. I'm going to add 0.59 divide here. 0.029x equals 0.59 and divide by 0.029. So let's see, let's use Desmos to calculate. If I take 0.59 divided by 0.029, it does give me 20.345 when I round, which is exactly what we wanted. Alright, so 20. 0.345. So factoring did give us our answer. It was a lot more work than using Desmos, though. So especially for yucky numbers, I would stick with Desmos. Now the next question says determine how high the frog jumped. Well, again, using Desmos, if I'm finding how high you jumped, I want to find the maximum. And the height at the maximum here looks like it is 3.001. The, I want the y value for height. So here, there should be a blank there. It should say 3.001 feet. That's how high the frog got. Now, <coughs> if I was finding the value of the height algebraically, I would have to use the formula x equals the opposite of b over 2x. Now that gives me the x value of the vertex. So that should give me the 10.172. To find the y value, I'll have to plug that back in to the equation. So 
to find the y. If I only do this one time, then we're almost done. So first I start with my x. x equals the opposite of b. Well, the opposite of my b term all the way up here over the picture. The opposite of that is negative 0.59 divided by 2 times a. Negative 0.029. Well, I can type that into Desmos, and I'm going to get, I'll type a fraction, so negative 0.59 divided by 2 times negative 0.029. And that gives me the x value, 10.172, and if I look back at my vertex, that's the exact same x value that I got as the vertex, so I know I did that right, 10.172. Now, to find the y value, I have to stick that x into the equation. And the equation is what's highlighted over the picture. Negative 0.029. Now, my x is 10.172 squared plus 0.59 times 10.172, which is really ugly looking. But let's type it in and make sure we did things correctly. Okay, so I'll have negative 0.029. My x is what's in this gray box right here. 10.172 squared plus 0.59 times x. And I get, that's, oh wait, I think I did it wrong. 10.172. Oh, I messed up a lot. There we go, which does give me 3.0008, which is 3.001, which was the y value of your vertex. So it did give me what I wanted. Again, that was a lot of extra work when we should be able to know that just pointing at values on our graph is going to be the easier method. All right, last question here. How high is the frog? 2.25 feet into its jump. Here's what I would do. 2.25 feet into the jump is the x value. If I have the graph, I'm going to go to the table. And on this table, I'm going to type in for x 2.25. And it gives me this output, 1.18. That is the height of the frog, 2.25 feet into his jump. So 1.18 feet high. So I'll put everything together. My suggestion for you is that you be able to use Desmos. If you have questions on this, ask your teacher. Try to practice on the next page.